Hi. Today I'd like to introduce you to a, um, a guided meditation on death and a favorite place in nature or in the world. Um, let me say a little bit about how this came up. I was teaching um, my class today with a um, students who are in a graduate program at the California Institute of Integral Studies and um, in this current time of shelter in place with COVID-19 um, one of the students pointed out that the, um, the topic of death wasn't really being addressed in the class and not enough in the world and I'd already been planning to lead this inner work on one's favorite place in nature somehow I combined the two and a few of the students had requested a, a recording of this, um, so I thought I'd offer it here more, more publicly. So let me just uh, um, <clears throat> offer just a suggestion. Um, this is something, of course, it's completely optional to do. It, it's, this is a practice that can be really helpful for some people in order to gain a, um, a different perspective, arguably a deeper perspective. And um, I don't know that it's um, necessarily a good idea to do it if you're feeling really emotionally or um, psychologically unstable. It may not be the time for that. So do whatever you need to do to take good care of yourself and um, see supportive friends and family members and community. But this could be a, uh, an opportunity to explore death and, again, a favorite place in nature. But you might ask, uh, why would I do that? Why would I explore death? Well, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's probably <laughs> more reasons than I can think of, but one reason why I found it helpful is to let myself detach from my normal ways of thinking and from my different roles in life as a parent, as a teacher, etc., etc. So there may be um, ways that you can gain a, a bit of a deeper perspective. And then the second part of the meditation is connecting to a favorite place in the world. Maybe the home of a dear friend or family member, or maybe it's a favorite place in nature somewhere. Again, with the idea of seeing life from that place's point of view. Maybe a little bit odd to think, well, what do you mean? I, I like the forest, but I'm not the forest. Well, I'll get to that in a little bit. But um, if this is for you, um, make yourself comfortable and uh, pay attention to yourself and see how it goes. I'll guide you through it. So first of all, go ahead and find a way to be comfortable, as comfortable as you can be. And begin to consider just momentarily here, letting yourself psychologically die. And I'm going to offer a couple different ways to think about that and explore that, even just for a couple minutes here. One is that um, thinking about the end on one's deathbed, where you're near the end of life. It's one possibility. Another possibility is to think about the different roles in life, whether you're a parent, a student, a teacher, you're involved in work in some way, that you're letting one role at a time, just you're letting them go. Another way, and because of COVID-19, uh, many of us have more pronounced fears of illness and death, may you to consider imagining that you have the coronavirus and you've been gravely affected, and you're at the end of your life. Whichever way that you choose, what's right for you, imagine now the end, just for a few moments here. Somehow you're nearing the very end of your life, the last couple of minutes. last breaths. You 
can notice what you think, how you feel. You can imagine and notice, are you with others or are you by yourself? Notice how you experience yourself in this imaginary last moments of life. And then if it's right for you, imagine that it's all over. You've taken your last breath. And then here, notice what happens. Notice what you experience. Notice how you feel, if you feel anything. Notice what you hear, if you hear something. Notice what you see, if you see anything. That for a moment or two, your life as you have known it has slipped away. It's all behind you for the moment. And now, what happens here? a few more moments here. And then if you're ready, let's take another step. And from this post-life state and experience, let yourself travel to this one, your everyday self, that one's favorite place in the world, some place where you have tended to feel well. It could be some place in nature, in the desert. or the forest, the mountains, or near the ocean. Or your favorite place may be at the home of a dear family member or a friend. But from this detached place, of having died a little bit, go to that favorite place. Imagine traveling there to that place, that favored place. And notice what you see at that place. Notice what you hear. If there are smells of the place. And the feeling, the energy of the place. 
Just be in this favored place, in this nature spot, in this home spot. Going there from this detached place so you can experience it possibly in a very new way. Let's see if you can imagine you are there. See and feel and hear that you are there. And then if it's right for you, Take another little step and somehow imagine that you are this place, that you are the quiet desert or that ocean area or that warm and welcoming home of your friend or family member, that somehow you are that energy. Just breathe into yourself. Breathe into your deep nature. Notice your own quality. Notice your energy. As this place. One more step. From this nature or home energy, as this energy, look back at the everyday, your everyday self, and just notice what you see. Observe this one. Notice what you notice. And if you have any advice or any comment that you want to offer the everyday self, from this nature or home energy spot.
let yourself come back to your everyday self. Perhaps you have found a little bit or a very different perspective from exploring this kind of psychological death and nature spot. Maybe you have a little different perspective on who you are or how to deal with your current situation. And if you felt really well visiting this um, nature or home spot, you might consider doing little um, nature spot, home spot meditations here or there. Because even if you feel moments of relaxation, a little bit more calmer sense of spaciousness, that could be good for overall health. It could be good to relieve some stress. And importantly, um, it could help provide a different or a great, perhaps even greater perspective. One last thought is this. If you indeed do tend to feel well in a particular place, the welcoming home of your friend, you feel well at the ocean or in the mountains, it might be that it's because there's something in you that's like that place and that physically visiting those places, or even doing little meditations, imagining that you are there, it could help. It could help you develop that connection to a part of you so that it becomes more pronounced, more integrated. Because it might be that in your deep nature, you are like that warm, welcoming home. You are like that spacious nature place, etc. And that could simply help in all kinds of situations and areas of life. But in any case, um, I think these are challenging times and I want to uh, encourage you to take good care of yourself and I, I wish you well. Take care.